gentlemen, we're here at Shelby Mahan's garage. <laughs> I've got my two best friends, Katie and Shelby, in Zambuca. <laughs> and today we'd like to walk you through how to do a ski limit on your snowmobile. Something that's quite overlooked, most people don't know how to do it. Uh, I've kind of got my own system that's been simple and easy. I used to ride Articat, so I had to do it all the time. And <laughs> we'd like to walk you through it. So let's get to it. Yes! <laughs> So to do a ski alignment, simple little list of tools. Uh, I have a six foot level, so if you want to use a two by six or two by eight board, uh, you know, borrow or get yourself a six foot level, then make sure you pick a really straight board. Uh, today, I'm gonna use a piece of aluminum angle iron, which is exceptionally straight, and will make for precise measurements. Uh, and Katie also has some ratchet straps, which we'll use to hold the handlebars in place, and we've got a, We've got a very <laughs> custom this tape custom. measure that works perfect for I'm this. I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And a Sharpie just to make some marks so you can be consistent with where you're measuring. Okay. Next step, get a couple of 14 mil wrenches and you want to loosen off the jam nuts on your tie rod. So basically, just go right on your tie rod here. Shelby's got some painted tie rods. Get your wrench on there and undo the jam nut at either end. So this is actually quite easy to do by yourself, but since I have two beautiful models with me, <laughs> they're gonna help me out and it's gonna make things a little quicker. So first thing, Shelby is going to stand on her sled and put her handlebars in the exact perfect riding position and straight position for her. Hey, settle down. We're not, <laughs> we're not riding yet. It's, rain, it's raining, not <laughs> snowing. <laughs> Then what Katie and I are gonna do is we're gonna take the ratchet straps, put this in there, and we're gonna put them on the handlebars, and we're gonna go back and we're gonna use the link system here, and we're going to tighten up the ratchet straps and hold the bars in place. The reason we're gonna do that, well, lens, there we go, it does. The reason we're gonna do that is because when we're adjusting the front end, the carbides will dig into the floor and we'll actually move the handlebars the whole time. So you want to hold the handlebars in place in the perfect position. Next up, we're going to put our straight edge in place. And what you want to do is get it to the back of your track. And you want to hug it up against your track just nice and straight. Uh, obviously making sure your, your track is aligned is important. And then we're going to use that to measure off to check the ski line. So next what you want to do, and every ski is different, so you want to pick a good spot on either side of your spindle, you know, three, four, five inches on either side of your spindle that you're going to use as your consistent measuring spots. So for me, I'm going to mark on the aluminum here that I'm going to go from here to here. And of course you're going to repeat this on the other side, so you know, mark it in two spots when you get to the other side too. Next you want to take your first initial measurements and see how far off or on your ski alignment is. And we are at six and a half inches on the front. And we are at five just over five and a half, just barely. So we are out by almost a quarter of an inch. We've got a toe out of almost a quarter of an inch. So what that will cause, it will cause your ski to try and wander out and then push itself back in. So it's gonna cause the left side of the snowmobile to keep trying to do this. So instead of riding straight and easy down the trail, you're gonna be fighting with it to try and keep the snowmobile straight. And so by moving your tie rod in and out here, you can see that your ski moves in and out. So what you got to do is take your measurements and I always use one eighth as my toe out and it seems to track perfectly. So I'm going to set that up now. So now we've got the ski alignment so we've got one eighth toe out. I'm now going to tighten up the nuts. Uh, you want to be careful as you're tightening them up because we'll be holding the tie rod. You want to make sure you don't move the tie rod and adjust again. And of course, once you've got everything tightened up, you want to recheck your work because you may have gotten it out a bit and you might have to redo it again a little bit. So and we're going to use blue Loctite a little bit here. I know they're jam nuts, but blue Loctite always keeps your snowmobile in one piece. So we're going to tighten those up now. So now that we've got the side adjusted with a 1 toe out, we're going to move our straight edge to the other side and repeat on the other side. 
We just want to say thank you for joining us today and hope that something so simple as a ski alignment will make your winter more enjoyable, make your sled track straighter, and give you some more time to enjoy the scenery instead of running around doing this all day. Thanks for joining us. See ya. Bye. Okay, that's gonna do. That has to do. That's it. <laughs> Done. Done. I think our bloopers will be double as long as yeah. that. And I'm gonna tell people you have to be careful when you're tightening up your nuts so you don't throw off your... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm using that. <laughs> And, and here I have my six foot level and my six foot model. <laughs> and they accompany one another. <laughs> no, you know, we don't need to like photograph me doing no, it. No. So I'm you can pause it. I'll just video. loosen it now. Well, you're going to show them how to do it. Well, if you can't figure this out, you should be working on your screen. Can you put that in the footage. Yes, I will. <laughs>